Okay, mic check, mic check, mic check. Okay, here we go. Take two. <laughs> Welcome to uh, my tutorial for setting up uh, Caster Netplay for MBAACC. Um, I'll be going over uh, very generally and briefly and probably just explaining a lot of it um, how to. Uh, set up the caster, what's required uh, for it to run properly, and uh, how to use it uh, very simply uh, for connecting and uh, hosting, and also a little bit about port forwarding, uh, just because I'm going to assume that nobody has watched my other video about it. Uh, so yeah, I decided to make this uh, mostly because the other video is outdated. Nobody's using the in-game netplay anymore because it's terrible. Uh, and the caster works like a hundred times better. <laughs> so here we go, let's get started. Uh, first thing you want to make sure you you have your uh, Melty Blood updated to version 1.4. Uh, you can check the version by just running the game. Uh, and you can see on the uh, uh, on the setup, the initial setup, the revision number here. And you want it to be version 1.4. If it's not version 1.4, you need to update it to 1.4. Uh, and these network settings are no longer applicable uh, for caster. Uh, they no longer get displayed, along with like the the ping and delay information, uh, which it's kind of sad. I kind of like that about the default net play but maybe maybe it'll get added in a later version so anyway you, if you don't see the revision number here for some reason you it'll also show up when you run the game uh, just in the main menu at right after this type moon splash at the melty blood splash you'll see it right down here in the bottom left corner uh, revision 1.4.0 and that's what you want to see if you don't see that or you see some other number you're gonna want to update it and the way you update it is you <laughs> probably going to be downloading a cracked version <laughs> because you can't buy this game legit uh, very easily. So uh, you can find this cracked version literally just by googling this file name here uh, and downloading a torrent. But anyway, uh, man, I wish you could buy this game legally. Anyway, uh, so you're going to extract the the uh, contents of the cracked folder and uh, you're gonna apply initially you're gonna apply the patch to uh, your your legit down uh, your legit executable the MBA executable you're gonna apply the, the 1.0.4 patch to it it's gonna update the folders in and files and in, inside the main folder that the executable resides in and then you're gonna replace the executable with the cracked version that's inside the zip file and once that's done, it should run as 1.0.4. And you can even try and run that play. And if you don't get some kind of error when you run the game, then you know you've successfully installed it or updated it with the cracked version. So uh, then you're going to need to download the caster. Uh, you're usually going to do this from the Melty, Melty Bread web. Uh, forms uh, but you can also find it uh, just through a Google search so I'm gonna do a Google search for it you just type in CC caster and the first hit should be meltybread.com slash forms and it should be CC caster version 1.1 is the latest he always updates this with the latest version so uh, it's a media fire link so you just click the link and you download it for Mediafire. It's going to be a zip file. I'm not going to actually download it because I already have it. But. So you're going to download it uh, and you're going to extract it from wherever into the Melty Blood folder that contains the Melty Blood executable that you just updated into version 1.4. So you're going to extract all that stuff from the CC Caster zip into this folder. And you should see. Uh, several files, a couple of DLLs, and 
like a change log and the CC caster executable. Uh, you won't see this config initially. Uh, that's for your controller settings for the caster. So when you, I'll just go ahead and delete this real quick. Well, not even delete it. I'll just uh, move it. Move, move it onto my desktop here. <laughs> And so when you run caster initially, it's going to have you do a button config. I don't have a controller set up, so I'm not going to actually do it. But once you connect, uh, do the button config, it'll create the uh, caster config here. I'm going to copy it back in to my folder. Yep, and it'll show up. So now when I run caster, after you, after you run the initial button config, it should show up as this screen with this information. So to host all you need to do is type in a port number. The default port for Melty is 46318 and you hit enter and then it's going to look up your global IP and then it tells you it's hosting at your global IP and the port number you typed in. So and it also tells you that it copied the IP information to the clipboard. So I'll show you it, the, the caster supports the same uh, clipboard functionality that the old Netplay supported. So, uh, it's pretty similar. Uh, so it's really, really handy. I love this feature. So whenever you start hosting, it automatically copies your IP information to the clipboard. So you can control V or paste it into your chat with your opponent. And it will paste it. And your opponent can select the text and control Z it or control C it or copy it. That's control C. <laughs> or copy uh, into his clipboard and then once he has that he'll run his caster and if it's in his clipboard all he has to do is hit enter to connect to the clipboard see or just hit enter to use the clipboard data and it's going to try and connect to my own IP which is going to fail so I'm not going to let it continue but once it once it does successfully connect the host will be prompted to set a uh, delay it'll and it'll have a suggested delay based off of the uh, ping threshold uh, which I think you can change with the caster somewhere maybe not oh whatever <laughs> uh, you can you can change the delay uh, when you're prompted from what's suggested I wouldn't recommend changing it more than one uh, in either direction, either up or down, uh, from what is suggested. And then it's going to ask you for a uh, win count. Uh, it's going to prompt you to put in a win count. The default is two, and that's tourney standard, so uh, I would just recommend that. <laughs> and that's rounds per match. Uh, that's what the win count means, rounds per match. So... Uh, and then it'll automatically launch uh, Melty Blood, and it'll it's scripted, so it'll automatically launch Melty Blood, go to uh, versus, and then versus player, and it'll go into character select, and then both character uh, both players can pick their character and character select in it. Then you play like you're playing in in versus offline, <laughs> but it's net play. <coughs> so. Uh, if you have trouble connecting, the most likely issue is that uh, the host, who is probably behind a router, uh, does not have port forwarding set up for Melty Blood. So I'm going to uh, briefly talk about that, uh, as briefly as I can. <laughs> so to set up port forwarding for your router, if, you're ho if you want to host, uh, you need to open up a web browser and connect to your default gateway. So uh, the way you figure out what your default gateway is, uh, is you're going to go down to the taskbar here on your computer, and you're going to right-click on your network properties. Like your, your network adapter should have an icon down here. No matter what version of Windows you have, there should be an icon down here. Now, the name of this thing may be changed, but you're going to want to go to your network properties uh, <coughs> for, your, uh, for your NIC card uh, on your computer. And the way you do that on Windows 7, and that's what I'm going to talk about here, is you go to the Share Center, and you go to your Adapter Settings, and you right-click on your adapter, and you hit Status, and you hit Details. And once you're here, you see IP version 4, Default Gateway. 
that's the IP address you want to type into the web browser. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Please open? Okay, there it goes. <laughs> so, 192.168.0.1. Typically, you're going to have an IP address in the 192.168. Uh, dot whatever network so it's a private private IP network anyway uh, so then once you type in your default gateway it should load the uh, configure home configuration page for your router uh, mine's a Netgear router uh, you're gonna not every router is gonna have the same options so my port forwarding options are like right here off the main screen uh, other routers port forwarding options are not gonna be off the main screen uh, so if you don't know where to find it, uh, just click through all the options until you find something called port forwarding. It's always called port forwarding. So click on port forwarding. Uh, initially, if you've never set up rules before, uh, the rules, the port forwarding rules uh, should be blank. Um, so you're going to, I'll just go ahead and delete this rule. So you're going to uh, create a rule, MB. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it MBACC. Uh, and anywhere it says port on the rule, uh, start, end, external, internal, whatever. If it says port and it wants you to put in a port number, you put in the port number that you want to host Melty on. I host on the default port number, which is uh, uh, 46, oh, whoops, <laughs> holding down shift, 46318. And you just put that in every. Why did it do that? Why did it do that? Oh my god. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Control C. Yes. Control V. Oh my god, why is it not copying? Okay, it was copying my IP address still from the clipboard. I don't know why. Okay. So all the ports should be the same in whatever port you're hosting on. Uh, the protocol, that means like TCP or UDP. Uh, Melty Blood uses both, so you want to use both. If you don't have a both option, you're going to have to set up two rules. One for TCP and one for UDP. <laughs> and there won't be any difference between them except that one of them says TCP and the other one says UDP. It'll be the same port number, same local IP. So make sure you set it up for both. And you're going to have it forward to your local IP, which is your computer's IP address uh, that is given to it from the router. So you can find that the same way you found the default gateway. Uh, open up the Share Center. Go to the Adapter Settings. Uh, okay. uh, Right-click and go Status. Click on Details. And it'll be this right here, IP version 4 address. Mine is .10. So that's what you want to type in. 192.168.0.10 <clears throat> You're going to want to type in whatever yours is. That's what mine is. Uh, then you're going to add it. Now my router doesn't have a button to like tell it that it's enabled. It's just always enabled if you have it as a rule. Uh, some routers there may be a little checkbox or a bullet like like this one, like a little radio radio button that you click. Uh, that'll actually enable the rule <laughs> uh, so make sure that you have the rule enabled if it needs to be enabled and then uh, you can't even edit an existing rule on my router so shittily done oh whatever uh, yeah so that's how you port forward once you have that rule in for both TCP and UDP you're done uh, that's port forwarding you set it up so then you should be able to connect uh, so, uh, yeah, that pretty much concludes the uh, updated tutorial. Uh, hopefully I didn't miss anything. Uh, yeah, thanks a lot for uh, watching. Hopefully this helps people if they've never uh, used the caster or set up Melty Blood before for Netplay. So, yeah, uh, any questions, feel free to leave a comment or whatever. <sighs> All right, thanks a lot. Later.